Would you look at this beautiful picture I grabbed from this morning? This was timestamp 738 Grand Mesa Lodge up on the Mesa. Beautiful conditions. Sunrise this morning officially occurred around 725. Clear skies. And that's what we maintain for the first third of our day. And then we slowly introduced uh, thin high clouds. We have those clouds now. Temperatures this morning, 22 at Grand Junction, 19 Delta, 14 Montrose. We should be 16 at Montrose. We're there. 17 Grand Junction. That's typical. Uh, again, moving forward, we have colder temperatures in the forecast. I think we'll squeeze out one more near average day tomorrow, and then our mornings go colder all the way through next week. Our afternoons will go colder. We're going to get one more tomorrow. Uh, today, uh, 38 is typical for Grand Junction and Montrose. Remember, I told you uh, we're slowly increasing the warmth. Slowly, but surely, uh, we're getting closer to the 40 degree mark for our average afternoon temperatures. That sure sounds fantastic. Unfortunately, we're not going to get those uh, today. Barely tomorrow. Not so much. Current temperatures right now we're in the 30s. Now, as we move through tomorrow afternoon, as we move through the weekend, as we move into and through next week, our temperatures will be lucky if we're even in the mid 30s. So we have a round of cold air, a very different weather pattern coming online since December and up until now we've had uh, repetitive storms coming at us uh, elongated across the Pacific, that atmospheric river, uh, source regions near Hawaii, source regions near Indonesia, the Mango Express, the Pineapple Express that also brought in those mild temperatures that we experienced in the form of rain for much of these storms, but we did get our snow totals. Um, now our storms are coming at us. We have a ridge of high pressure that's interrupting that train. Ridge of high pressure off the Pacific coast, or I should say off the Pacific coast, driving our storms to the Pacific Northwest and diving them down through the Four Corners region. Mostly dry, certainly colder. That'll be the pattern. Wind speeds right now, well, five miles per hour, give or take. Top wind gusts of the day, not all that uh, unmanageable, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Two storm systems coming in, and I use the term loosely. Uh, they are weak, they are drying, but they do have some precip chances. Instead of measuring snow on the order of 20 inches, we're going to be measuring snow on the order of a couple of inches. Now the mountains, absolutely, the mountains should pick up 5 to 10. Maybe the deepest total would be 15. We're not doing that now. Clean sweep on the radar. Not a whole lot happening for the Centennial State. East, west, north, south. Somewhat quiet. We're going to be increasing cloud coverage. Now, one of the biggest uh, forecast busts for the state happened in the southeastern portion of Colorado. They didn't get as much snow as they were forecasting. But as it turns out, uh, they're already under winter weather advisories. They're already looking at winter storm warnings. Absent are those for the western slope. Now, we could see a last minute addition as a winter weather advisory for some areas around the San Juan Mountains. That would occur during the overnight hours because this system's passing through rather quickly. In fact, current position with the jet stream dipping way down to the southern international border, current position of this storm system is southern Utah, southern Nevada, right there at the triple point near California. Plenty of moisture in Utah. Great powder for southern Utah. St. George, no golf games, plenty of snow games. Now, as we cycle through the overnight hours and get into tomorrow morning, this low pressure system will swing along the southern border of Colorado. And that'll create plenty of snow opportunities for what was previously a drier southeastern Colorado. Well, not as much snow as they expected, but they're going to get theirs tomorrow. Quick system coming through. Now, that doesn't mean we won't have our chances. We should. On the backside, with the energy coming at us from the northeast and then from the northwest, we could see some snow flurries. I'm more partial to the mid-morning hours for that chance. We certainly will see some snow falling on the mountains, the mesas, and the plateaus around us. But even in the late afternoon hours, in-house model interpreting that there's a chance we'll see some flurries along the Highway 50 corridor. I think, yeah, you know what, doesn't matter what I think. We have that chance in the mid-morning hours. We have that chance in the mid-afternoon hours, especially as the system exits into the eastern plains and into the Midwest portion of our country. So there it is. We have a chance. It's not going to be a lot. I seriously doubt the Highway 50 corridor will be under a winter weather advisory. We're not looking at a whole lot of punch with this storm system. It is going to move quickly. Uh, that's number one in and out Friday night, Saturday night. We get clearing skies. That's your next opportunity to get out and do some uh, stargazing, if you will. Next storm system, same situation comes online for the end of the weekend, the start of next week. Notice, though, it reinforces the colder temperatures 
So instead of being in the upper 30s this time of the year, we're now in the lower 30s this time of the year. For Montrose, it's upper 20s. That's 10 degrees colder for our afternoon temperatures. And for the middle of next week, we might even chill down to the single digit low temperatures.